Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Big Picture. I'm Judge Penny Wolfgang, in for host Phil Arno, who is under the weather this week, and we wish him a speedy recovery. For many of us, when you say the word telethon, you think of the Variety Club here in Buffalo. You should, because our hometown television event is the longest running locally produced telethon in the United States, which is coming this year to this station, WBBZ and Channel 2, February 29th and March 1st. But the Variety Club has been around longer than television. Chartered in 1934, the mission of Variety is to help sick and handicapped children in Western New York. Initially founded in 1927 by a group of 11 theater owners and showmen in Pittsburgh, the Variety Club evolved into a charity during 1928. Playing cards backstage after a matinee performance at the Sheridan Square Theater, the group heard whimpering from the auditorium. When they investigated, they discovered a one-month-old baby girl to whom her mother had pinned a desperate note. When all efforts by the police and local newspapers failed to locate the parents, the club members decided that they would act as 11 godfathers and underwrite Catherine's support and education. The little girl who became the inspiration for our international children's charity was named Catherine Variety Sheridan. That club grew and Buffalo has been a proud tent for decades. Joining me on the big picture is the current chief barker, Diane Kuchel, and the executive producer of the Variety Club Telethon for many years, our own John DeShulo. Welcome. Thank Welcome, you. guys. Thank you. <laughs> Diane, tell us, how long have you been a member? Well, probably quite, quite a long time. I, I actually joined in 1981. I helped a little bit before I became a member. Um, and how I got involved was I was working at Blue Cross at the time, full time. And my coworkers knew how much I loved kids. I talked about my nieces and nephews, all 27 of them. By the way, there's 27 nieces and nephews, 28 great nieces and nephews, and 14 great great nieces and nephews. You, so you have your own club. We your own. <laughs> do. And, and because they knew how much I loved the kids, I got involved. And okay. that, that's a simple. And, and the rest is history. And the rest is history. Going and going and going. I've been um, telethon chairman a couple of times. I've been chief barker a couple of times. I've been president of the women. I've had an opportunity to meet so many great people, so many of our members, and so many people like you, Judge. I remember Judge coming to some of our events up on Delaware Avenue. Yes, great. I've been. It's been, it's I've been, been wonderful. I've been devoted for many years. I'm so yes. excited that I get to do this program and. and share it with our viewers, my, our enthusiasm, and especially since our own tele television station right here is going to be so involved next year. And I don't know, they could not do it without you anyway, John. Well, so. it's a team effort, and I appreciate the, the kind compliments, well, Judge. Uh, let's tell us a sure. little bit about it. Well, as Diane mentioned, uh, she's been Chief Barker, and, and we should mention Variety Club sort of has that sort of circus feel in how things are, you know, it's under a tent and tent. to show yeah. people. So a chief barker is somebody who would be out there <laughs> yeah. basically asking for money and asking for attention for, for the club. Right. So with that, the telethon is asking you to make the pledge. And the telethon started in 1962, and it was the Earth's board, and Dr. Robert Warner at that time, very much ahead of his time, Dr. Robert Warner started to do therapies for children outside of the norm. Now, this is 1962. So imagine mm -hmm. the kinds of responses he must have gotten. You know, he was probably dealing with children. We didn't, you know, hear the word autism back in 1962. He was probably dealing with children who were in that state, children who had other issues, you know, spina bifida and cystic fibrosis. And, uh, so he created a rehab center just for them. But because he was such a maverick, he needed monies. So he went to Channel 2. Television, of course, was you know, all the rage in 1962, as it still is now, even more so then on so many, so many levels. And he went, and they said, all right, we'll do the telethon. And they went on the air, and I don't know how long it was. But it was such a hit that the studios, which were on Barton Street at the time, suffered phone outages. So the you know, areas of the west side were oh, without yeah. phone service. People responding and trying to call exactly. in donations. So oh, the next goodness. year, Channel 2 said, well, 
maybe we don't want to do this telethon anymore. Uh -huh. uh, and it went over to Channel 7. And, and I intersected with the, the uh, telethon in 1983 when it came to Channel 7. And, and we should mention that even though the telethon's coming to WBBZ this year to Channel 2, we would be remiss if we didn't acknowledge right. that WKBW offered 50 plus years right. of support. In fact, Diane, a friend of ours, we saluted last year on yep. the telethon. Steve. Yeah, mm -hmm. Steve Zappia, and oh, uh, yeah. you know you know Steve, of course. I Judge. did. I wanted to say that you were Mr. Telethon, but actually, maybe Steve was. Steve or, really or maybe share the title. Absolutely, no. And and in all due respect, Steve was one of the first employees at WKBW Television in 1958. So he was there for the first Telethon and was executive producer for 30 plus years. Mm -hmm. So um, because we shot this piece, we're going to take some liberty and and uh, show it to you. Keith Radford, our friend from. Uh, Eyewitness News went over and talked with Steve last year about the origins of the telethon and his memories of this great event. Can you believe it's telethon time again? What? It's telethon time again. You're kidding. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Overnight, 20, 20 hours, how we used to do, 20, 21 hours, something. I don't know. What was it like in the beginning when you first had to do that? Was it crazy? Oh, my God. It was, it was unbelievable. But I, you know, when I started, I, I was on camera. Oh. You know, and... Uh, so I kind of grew up with it, you know, and you just, you just add in more and more, and the next year more, and it just kept going. You know? So Steve, can you believe it's still on the air? Uh, to tell you the truth, no, because there, there are no telethons on the air anymore. Very few, very few. And KB is, uh, you know, one of the last of the Mohegan. Is it a lot of work to put on a telethon? Uh, yes. Did everything usually go pretty smooth or did you have some things that didn't go so smooth? Oh, most of the time, you know, we did it for so long. Most of the time it was, uh, it was pretty smooth. There were, weren't too many problems. The kids, really. You know, they, they, just, they just grabbed your heart, you know, they came in there. We talk to them and take take care of them, and uh, the, the variety club people were great with them. They loved them. They always did. Remember, I was there from the beginning. We only did one telethon away from Channel Seven, and that was uh, the first one. And and then we picked it up the next year, and we ran for 23 years with it when you were there, and then it's still going today. it's still going today. Yeah. yeah, and we used to have some pretty big names come into town, didn't we? Yes, yeah, yeah, a lot of them. Uh, most of the stars on television all came there and did the telephone. Burt Reynolds? Burt Reynolds. Kathy Lee? Kathy and, Lee, yeah. 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 A lot of them, a lot of them, a lot of them. It must bring back a lot of great memories. It does, it does. It does, and we had a lot of fun, you know. We had a lot of good times. Can't, uh, can't kick about that, so. Now your granddaughter's involved in the telephone? She sure is. She sure is. <laughs> that little lady is, she's a dynamo, I tell you. You and your granddaughter, and then maybe her son or daughter someday will be on it, too. Well, let's, let's hope. <laughs> Not a bad life, Keith, as you know. It was it was a good experience for all of us. It was good training. Uh, you know, I mean, it, 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 it was a meaningful project every year. What do you think about this community? This is a great community that supports something like this, isn't it? Oh, there, there's, there's no community like this. No community like this as far as as you know, getting involved with the viewers. Uh, we had such great times. Dave Thomas, we had a lot of fun. 
When you were representing the telephone, the door was open, and it always will be, I think. Now that Oshai is built, before they tore down the old children's hospital, they gave us this plaque back. So I think it's really cool that we have it now in our possession, and it was on, in the hospital for so long. And you know, I hope to have an installation with Rocks of Unity at Oshai to kind of carry on the next Zafia plaque <laughs> at Oshai. This is specifically from the 1989 telethon. I remember it. And so we got some of the Channel 7 staff down there. I, I couldn't tell if you were in this photo, though, so you'll have to. No, uh, I don't think so. You might, I think they it. told me you were at a production table that would have been yes, off. that's right. Off over that's there. Exactly that's exactly where it so was. Cool. Yeah. yeah. We had a lot of fun. We really did. That is so heartwarming, it isn't is. it? Just seeing all the people that have been involved in the history of the telethon uh, that, and have been so dedicated and the difference that it's made, it's just heart, it just really, really blows your mind. Yeah, millions and millions of dollars. Yes. The, uh, the seventh floor, well, the, sev the, the tower, I should say, explain that, Diane, the, the, the original Children's Hospital. On Bryan Street, um, your money, the money from our donors, our supporters, went to build the tower at 219 Bryan Street when it was there. Um, we've given money for, um, you've given money that has allowed variety to have the tower, to have um, a pharmacy, um, all at Oshai Children's Hospital. I mean, all of the money that's raised stays here locally and is given to children's charities, whether it be ch uh, the Oshai Children's Hospital or whether it be the other local children's charities that, that help kids, that benefit kids. I can get into naming some of them if you like. Sure, let's sure. name a few. Okay, so we've yeah. got Boys and Girls Clubs, we've got the Pale, we've got Saba, we've got the Head Start Holy Cross program, we've got um, a camping program that enables kids to go out to Cradle Beach during the summer that, that we sponsor. Um, there's numerous charities. We have a heart committee that's made up of seven members of Variety Club that make sure that the charities that request funding are legit. They have their 501Cs, so we make sure everything's on the up and up, and it really brings smiles to our faces, to the volunteers and to the members of Variety Club to be able to see where this money goes and how it helps the kids. And when we were watching the video, it made me think of something Diane said. There's benefits to being a volunteer that you may not be aware of. Diane told me how she got to look in the, I'll let you tell it, the eyes, the turquoise oh. <laughs> eyes of one of the participants years ago. Oh, well, my knees don't buckle very often. I was just telling the judge. But the one and only time that I do remember them buckling was back in the early 80s, Burt Reynolds made a surprise appearance Teresa. at the telethon. <laughs> I looked into those eyes. They were turquoise. He was and such a handsome man. And you've never been Only time in my life that they ever buckled. I'm glad Ed is in the mall. Well, I'm, I'm not hearing any of this. Uh, well, is it time for a break? Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's time for a break. When we come back, uh, what's new this year for the show and how you can help. Please stay with us. <laughs> 